Hi there. First of all, I just want to show you the colors that I'm going to be working with. Uh, this red is my favorite red. It's called Fashion Red. It's by Williamsburg. It's a beautiful, bright red. And then we have Utrecht's uh, Cadmium Free Red Light, Ultramarine Blue, and then this is Ultramarine Blue with Chromatic Black added, King's Blue, uh, Green Gold, which I added some white to, and this is Olive Green, which I added some white and some green gold to, and then I have Chromatic Black white and uh, warm white. So those are my colors that I'm going to use for this piece. Any questions just put it in comment below and I already have my cold wax in it and a few drops of the Galkit light in each one of them. And I have already prepared my paper and this paper is uh, Arches oil paper and what I did is I took a 9 by 12 mat set it on my paper, drew where my uh, opening would be so I can just go to the store and get a mat. And then I did give myself some wiggle room with my tape. You can see I just put my tape just on the outside of that line and I did draw that line with a pencil so that's no problem. So I'm uh, again this is Arches oil paper and it's the 9 by 12 size. You do not have to gesso it because it's ready for oil. So I'm ready to start this um, small abstract piece on paper and I'm going to at the end add sand to the Shit. piece. So here we go. Okay, what I have done to start off with is I am using my ultramarine blue along with the uh, chromatic black. That would be this one right here. Um, and I put it on with a brayer. Don't care if lines go into it. Line, I like lines. And I'm going to let this sit for about 30 minutes because I want it to be fairly set up before I get started. Um, and uh, make sure that you get right down to your edges because you don't want your edges not to have pink on them. So. I will see you in about 30 okay. minutes. It has been about 25-30 uh, minutes. It's a little tacky yet, but when you do it on paper, it dries much, much faster. I'm going to put a little bit of warm white on it, then we're going to go from there. Now I'm going to drip some, an oil or boiler over it, and I've, the needle is off, but it's still coming out, so I'm not worried about, worried about it. Let's see if I can just do a little bit of dripping.
think I'm going to drip some with some uh, a brush. And this is Gamasol in here. Dirty Gamasol. Now I'm going to let it on for about 30 seconds. See what we get. Have no idea. Here we go. Okay, I am liking that. I'm liking that the blue up here has some marks in it. Blue down here has some marks in it. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some green and my palette knife. And this is the olive green with a little bit of uh, green gold in it, a little bit of white. Take a little bit of this blue, add some blue into this, some real blue. And this is straight um, ultramarine blue. Get that corner good. I have it just on the edge of my palette knife, as you can see. And this is the blue-black, which is really ultramarine blue with a little bit of the chromatic black in it. Put some of that back into it because I don't want it to be all ultramarine. I want to have a little bit of stuff going on. Just on the edge. See if I can get some lines going on down here. I kind of like that. Maybe I want a, a dark line right here. 
Yep, I like that too. Just a little bit going on there. Now, I want to put some of this uh, lighter green gold into this, just for a little bit of variety. That doesn't really look that much different, so I'm going to go with the green gold with some light in it, some white in it. That's what it looks like right there. This is really different for me. I wanted to do something a little different. put a little bit more white into some of that, see if I can get it even lighter. Yeah, that's what I wanted. Now,
Okay, now I'm going to put some sand into my orange. Here's my sand. And you can see it has particles of dirt in it. And actually, what it is, is um, sand that I found on a volleyball court. You could use beach sand, you could use child's play sand, you can use sand anywhere that you can find sand. So I'm gonna put a little bit right there and I'm gonna add orange paint to it. So it's, I'm gonna say it, it's gonna end up being about half sand and half paint. That's gonna give it lots of texture, as you can see. I'm gonna add a little bit more to it. As long as you can spread the paint, that's good. So I can get a lot of texture out of that. Might add just a little bit of red to it, just to change it up a little bit. You can hear how gritty it is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to spread some orange right in through here. I want to make it some of it a little bit lighter so I'm going to add a little bit more sand to it with some of the white That is really, really gritty. I think I might put a little bit right here. Can you see how that all ends at the same place? I have to change that. See how much better it looks? Now I am going to take a palette knife over this. Not a palette knife, a uh, skewer pick up some pieces that I want to break into this line here. I think I'm going to add a little bit more blue.
didn't work. like that. I'll cover that up. Make it a real mess here. Don't like that at all. This little piece here allows you to get down. Where did I put my palette knife? It's really weird looking. I think this needs to be darker right here. See how much that con that contrast added to this area. And I think I'm gonna do that. I think I need to draw into this. that but I need everything one thing I want to point out to you all of every one of my lines and shapes is a straight I need a curve in this so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to start here do that I do have a curve here, which I forgot about. Now, I do want to mess this line up a little bit.
Now, I think I need a little bit, let's see, I wanna see. I think this needs to be white right there, or warm white. See if I can make this more of a squared end. This is really weird, Linda. Okay. All right, I'm gonna take it off. I'm just wondering if this area needs some red in it right there, maybe. Now that's too obvious. There, I like that little tiny bit. That's got some sand in it too, it's very gritty. Okay, I'm gonna t take off the tape now. Better close this sand up before I get sand everywhere. Hold it down with this. Look at me, I have paint everywhere. have a piece right here. It needs to come up. And I have one more at the top yet. very different for me. I don't like this corner right here. This corner needs to be dark or something. So I have to change this corner. So what I'm going to do is wipe my hands off, get as much of this off as I can, put some more tape down. I can just scrape it up. I think 
think it still needs to be darker. Look, I already got paint on that. That's okay. And I think this needs to be dark over here in this corner. Didn't do very good with my tape job, but that's okay. I like this better. I like this corner better. But I'm still thinking it's not big enough. It's too small. So I'm just going to forget about taping it, and then I'll, I'm just going to put a mat over it so you can see what it looks like. Maybe that'll be enough. And I'm going to add but it's right directly across from that can you see that so I'm gonna have to add more so it's not directly this doesn't stand alone Now, do I want to put it up here? Or I think I want it down here. Okay. I'm going to call it finished. I'm going to wipe my hands off. And by the way, I clean my tools and my hands with uh, wet ones. This is uh, our grocery store's generic brand of wet ones really good to clean your tools and your uh, hands off with. L look at me. I'm a mess. And then I'm going to put a mat over it so you can see what it truly looks like. Right now you really can't. But all this is standing pretty high because that has the sand in it. The red. And I have a lot of paint left over, so I might have to do something else tomorrow. I'm thinking that I need something right here. Perfect. Perfect! And I'm going to put some paper towels down so I don't get paint on my mat. what it will look like. It's that this way. Then we have it this way. 
and I do believe I like it this way. I'm going to take a picture okay, of that. What I did is those three circles on the left hand side, I filled those in with some warm white. So um, they would show up a little bit better. And here's a close up everything. You can see the sand in the uh, in the orangey red color. And I will also give you a photo. Thanks for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. And if you haven't subscribed, I would appreciate if you do. Bye-bye.